Hello all, welcome to Tech Capture. So in this video, we are going to discuss about very important topic in a BigQuery that is most statement in BigQuery. So we'll see first what is most statement. We'll see the quick demo as well, and we'll see why it is very important to use most statement and how it can avoid a lot of complex coding. Okay. So let's first see what is the most statement. Okay. So this is kind of combined of your insert, insert, update, and delete statement. So whenever you have to combine or whenever you have to compare two tables and insert the records which are only not there or update the record which are already there but some values are changed or delete the record which are not there in either of the table okay so this is kind of you can compare two tables or two source source and destination and you can change the data in your source or destination based on the available data in source and destination okay so this is particularly useful for synchronizing table as I mentioned if you have two tables or if you want to implement the SCD, SCD is slowly changing dimension where we need to make the changes based on the slowly changing dimension so if you want to know more about a slowly changing dimension let me just go to the one of my block quickly and I will just try to explain you what is a slowly changing dimension so this is one of my medium block for the data engineer interview questions okay so this is specifically for the data engineer google cloud data engineer interview question and in this i just try to explain what is slowly changing dimension just take an example you are having one customer and having name john smith and the city new york now let's say john moves from new york city to los angeles okay then you update the record so you will not insert new record so here what you will do so these are the slowly changing dimension it means these are the information which does not change on a daily basis so john will not keep updating his city or john will not keep updating his name or his customer id won't get updated daily basis so this is kind of information which does not change daily it means it is like change very unfrequently so this is changing slowly and that's the reason is slowly changing dimension so whenever we have this slowly changing dimension we use a three scd types scd type one so in SCD type 1 what we do we will just update the record so the city if earlier it was New York now we will just change to the new city now in this case we will lose the historical data like let's say suppose someone asked what was the previous location of the John then you will not have data because your new record is updated completely so in SCD type 1 there is no history tracking okay. in SCD type 2 you can have the start date and end date so here what you can do you can just have kind of the customer id one but you will maintain the multiple copies so first record is john smith its city was new york and the start date ended if the loss it moved to los angeles then you update the new record with the new city and make the ma previous record as a with the end date so it means you will maintain the historical record as well so we will let someone ask where was the join on a particular date so you can give that information as well so in scd type 2 you address the new records and we maintain the full history also with the scd type 2 you can create the more column instead of more record you will just add the column so it's kind of john current city and previous city now here you partially hold historical data it will not show it will only show previous city let's say suppose today john is in los angeles tomorrow it moved to New York so it will just keep the record of previous not previous of previous okay so it's always maintain the a partial history that what is the current city and what is the previous city if he moves couple of times then we will not have the full history of it so that means the SCD type 1, SCD 2 type and this is SCD type 3 so in our case in merge statement we typically use basically for SCD type 1 where we make the changes of data by comparing the latest data and old data and we update the old data with the latest data okay so the merge statement is used basically to implement the SCD now coming back to the topic that basically this is particular implementing for the slowly changing dimension and efficiently managing the data pipeline then this merge statement combines data from source table into the target table on specified condition so you can mention the condition so what are the condition let me just tell you the condition so first you have the target table which needs to be updated source table where you can compare your target table 
and the merge condition so you have to specify the merge condition on which condition you have to perform certain operation so let's say if data is not matched between source and destination what condition you will perform uh, what operation you will perform if your data is not matched by target so what action needs to be take when source has no matching target row then next condition when not matched by source what action needs to be taken when the target row has no matching source row okay so these are the multiple condition so we will see a quick demo so let me just go to the book query and we'll see the quick demo on this so i am in my big query and here let's say i'm having merged demo data set and i am having one employee master data set let me just query employee master and let me show you the data okay so i am having only 10 records so let's just sort it based on the employee id so i am having this 10 records now i want to create the merge statement so if new employee is added only that record inserted if department or salary changed for the existing employee it will get updated and if say let's any employee resigned or left the company then his status should be marked as a inactive so i want to create a single merge statement for this condition so where i will compare this data so this is my employee master and there will be one more table which is called a uh, employee daily so which updates daily with the latest data so let me just show you here so i am having this employee data so this is the kind of my full record now with this file i will update my daily employee records so i will create one more table for a uh, daily update so i'll just create one table create table and i will just upload the file because daily i am updating that's the scenario we will consider employee data table i will just do employee daily okay auto detect and create table so now i am having two table one is employee master and one is employee daily so for now the both table are having same data okay but still i have to write a merge statement so i'll just start writing the merge statement i will tell you how to write so we will start with the merge okay and then i will then i will use my target table okay so this is my project then i will give my data set so data set is merge demo okay and then my target table is employee master okay so this is my target table and for this name i will just give as a target this is the alias i will use using so how to merge this table using then here i will give the name of my source table source table should be employee daily okay so watch demo and then employee daily Okay. this should be my source so i will compare those tab those two tables but how to compare what is my primary key so i have to write a primary key i have to join this both so i'll just write on so on target dot emp id is equal to source dot emp id okay so this is my a uh, join condition so till this point this is fine now what i will do i'll just write the condition i'll just make it caps so when matched what we should do if the record is matched it means the record is in both source as well as in the destination then we need to update let's say suppose record is in my source table as well as in the destination table but salary changed so in that case we need to update so we need to update the target salary with the source salary Okay, so then I will do when match. Then first it will compare what, and then EMP ID name department salary status and value should be from the source values.
okay so I'll just go here this is my source file so I'll just try to update something let's say uh, let's check what values we are having here so for employee master I will check the values I think we already check here yeah so employee master uh, oh yeah we are having this value so let's try to change something so for Bob what I will do uh, not Bob this is inactive so maybe for Julia so for Julia I'll just try to increase her salary currently it's 92,000 so I'll just make it okay or I'll just make it 90 I'll just mark it as 95,000 so I change her salary here okay I'll just save it and I will update my daily table first because this is kind of my daily table so how to update daily table just click on the data set okay create table upload browse I will put the same file because it's having daily file updated record and give the same table name even though it is there employee underscore daily but you have to do one thing here in advance you have to override the table okay because every day it will override the daily table and then I will create table okay then first we'll check in daily uh, so in check in daily if the salary is updated for Julia uh, uh, for Julia yeah so salary is here in 95,000 but in the target what is the Julia salary so it is 92,000 okay now I will execute my more statement and I will check if one record gets updated and my target also should change the salary of Julia now okay one row affected in employee master so let's check if it changed to 95,000 for Julia so Julia let me just sort yeah you can see it changed to 95,000 okay so it means at least update statement is working fine now we'll just try to add one more record and remove one record okay so what is our condition if we record remove record from the source file it will mark that employee as a inactive and if we add new it will add that entry as a new employee so let me just add new record first I'll just add 011 name I'll just give my name department I will just give engineering okay salary I'll just give 1000 10,000 okay and I will mark it as active so this is my new record and I want to remove one employee so I'll just remove this Ian which is employed 09 from the file okay and now I update my daily file so again how to update the day so this can be done actually programmatically but to get a better understanding I am showing you through the console so I'll just update the daily file again I'll just go on create table click on upload select file same give the same table name employee underscore daily because we are overwriting the table with the new data in advanced option don't miss to overwrite and create table so again employee daily will have one more record which is my name and it should remove one record for Ian Martin so now just go to the employee daily okay just refresh it should have 11 records again it should have 10 records but the new employee should be there yeah so you can see it added new records we shall here okay and it removed employee ID 9 which is for Yan okay so now if we update this with a merge statement we shall should be added as a new employee and Ian it would not remove Ian it just marks status as a inactive because we don't want to lose the employee data we will keep the data in database but just as a inactive right? so now let's execute the more statement this time let's say how many records it updates it affected two rows one let's see which one it affected okay now let's execute employee master you can see now 
it added one record for me and let's say for 9 it is still there EN is still there but it marked EN as inactive now so this is how the more statement work and it helps you to implement the SCD where you will just insert new record update the existing record and then delete or again update the old record with the specific status so hope you understood now how merge statement work in a BigQuery let's say suppose you want to implement SCD2 just like using start date end date and keeping the historical data as well or just maintaining this historical data as well we can tweak our uh, more statement or we need to write the different conditions there so if you need you have that requirement just let me know I'll just try to help you out but that is what we had for the merge statement so hope you understood now how we can use the merge statement let me just format it just for better visibility yeah so this is how I think uh, previous view was better yeah. so this is how we could use the merge statement so that's it for this video and uh, we will see you in the next video.